I, I can't water boy him, so he's gonna have to go in wooden. I can't do him that dirty. Hi guys, and welcome back to another tier list with myself and Angelina, a very special one today. We are looking at the top favorites for the Golden Boy Award this year. Erling Haaland has it at the moment, yes. I do believe. Um, we did this one last year as well, mm. and we've got the top 10 most expensive players, and we're gonna see who deserves it the most. The categories okay. are... So we have got a Golden Boy, obviously. Makes sense. Silver Boy. <laughs> Also makes sense. I'm going to say Bronze Boy is the next one. <laughs> you guessed it right. We are intertwined. <laughs> and then we have got Wooden Boy. <laughs> you know, we watched way too much Pinocchio, yeah. clearly. And uh, finally, Water Boy. So Ooh, that's hard. Pretty self-explanatory. Right. Kick yeah. us off with the first one. Okay, so first one, we have got Ryan Gravenberch, Ajax player. He's a phenomenal midfielder. Very good. I, I watched the, like... I don't watch Ajax games, I watch a lot of the highlight packages. Mm. I'm getting big Pogba vibes. Yeah. From the yeah, way yeah, yeah. he plays, not mm. only his stature, but the way he moves is such good ability. Mm. Um, it either goes one of two ways from here for me, for Gavin Birch. He either gets that Donny van der Beek move, and unfortunately the career kind of stalls, or he gets the Frankie de Jong move, mm. and his career takes the next step. He has been very, very good though. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do I think he's going to win it? I'm not too sure if he's going to win it. Yeah. Um, Pretty good. A lot of potential there. Mm. I'm probably going to go with Bronze Boy. Um, I think there's still quite a, a bit more to come. Mm. Not that what we've seen isn't good, but yeah, looking at some of the other players in the mix, yeah, I'm going with Bronze Boy. Yeah, pro I can't see him winning it. So I'm going to go Silver Boy though, because mm. I really like him. Yeah. One of the youngest scorers from um, the Netherlands. And from Ajax as well, I think he's incredible. Mm, yeah. I think he's really good. I'm going to go Silver Boy. Okay. Uh, you go next. So we have got a Gio Reyna Dortmund player. Gio Reyna. Uh, okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Gio Reyna is very, very good, but he's not going to win it because there are two, one more Dortmund player on the list. Yeah. He's just not a big name. If I was yeah. to say to you right now, Dortmund youngster, amazing. He's not the name that's going to spring to mind, yes. Exactly. Um, Haaland springs to mind, then Jude Bellingham springs to mind, yeah. and it's nothing to do with Gio Reyna. I just think, like, he might be overlooked because what he does is overshadowed by other incredible players at yeah. Dortmund. I kind of agree with yeah. everything that you've said, and that maybe has to go. And and it's not because he's not talented, yeah. but um, I'm thinking probably Water Boy. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go uh, Wooden Boy. Okay. I'm gonna go Wooden Boy, but yeah, pretty much not much chance of winning it. He has started the season well though. I wouldn't mm. give him that, especially because they lost Sancho. Yeah. Maybe he can fill in that role. A couple mm. of goals already. Um, yeah. Next up, we'll stick in the Bundesliga. Jamal Musiala. I was saying the other day, I wish so badly he plays for England. I know, it's so, <laughs> so annoying bad. that he's made that switch to Germany now. It's, oh, oh God, just think England still wouldn't have won the Euros, but that's not no, the point. It's not the point. It's not the point. If he was English, he'd be missing penalties. I think he's incredible. Very, very talented. Oh, uh, you think a very talented player? I think he had a good Euros mm. so far this season. He's been very consistent yeah. with his goals and his performances. Yeah, very exciting player. I think for someone so young, yeah. despite the fact that Germany were knocked out in the last 16, obviously the first half of the year, seeing him pick up um, a couple of trophies with Bayern. Mm. He's got a chance. Yeah. To be honest with you, I think he's got a chance. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to put him in silver boy. I'm going to do the same. I think he's really talented and like yeah, you say, yeah. I think he's got a very good shot, um, you know, to get into that Bayern team and to play so well. Very That's impressive. The thing. This is a Bayern team full of stars who the year before had won the treble. Yeah. And he still manages to get into the team, so mm -hmm. it's pretty damn good. Definitely. Okay, next up we have got Nuno Mendes, of course, recently joined at PSG. Mm. So joined PSG from Sporting. The thing is, he had an incredible season with Sporting. Mm. Sporting had an incredible season winning the title. Yeah. Got a big move. Didn't play at the Euros this summer. Mm. I'm starting to think now, we can't really hold team awards against young players. Yeah. It's not like the Ballon d'Or, mm, where yeah. if the Ballon d'Or winner hasn't won the Champions League or mm. a major title, we're like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm starting to think that's a bit harsh to hold against some of these players. Having mm -hmm. said that, Nuno Mendes is a very good left back. Is he going to play all the time for PSG? That's the thing. 
I think he's definitely going to get his chances, yeah. but with him being so young, I don't think it's going to be a week in, week out kind of yeah. situation. And if it's not week in, week out compared to some people on this list... That are playing week in, week out. And also, you know what's devastating for him is that he's a defender. And as we know, defenders yeah. never get the recognition they deserve. <laughs> so in light of that, I'm going to put him in Waterboy and not give him Ooh. the recognition. I will say a quick side note, though. I love him. Yeah, very talented. I think yeah. he's going to be phenomenal for yeah. PSG, for anyone, for Portugal. I think he's amazing. Yeah, I'm probably going to go with ooh, uh, Wooden Boy, I'll go with. Yeah. I've, be, I've already put someone in Waterboy, so... He'll be slightly nicer to him. <laughs> yes. Uh, right, next one, Florian Wirtz from Bayer Leverkusen. Very good player. Very, very good. What do you think about his chances compared to the rest of them? Again, some of the names that are up there, mm. I'm not too sure if he's quite there with the, you know, the top, the, the best top. of the best, but still a very good player. I'm just, oh, I don't know. Do you think he's held back because Leverkusen aren't competing as highly as some of the other teams are. I think so. I think unfortunately that is always going to play a role yeah. because unfortunately if your team is not in the biggest competitions yeah. in the mix with the biggest things, you're not going to be talked about as much yeah. unfortunately. So uh, still a good player. Um, I would probably put him in bronze. I'm going to join you in bronze. Yeah. I think Verts is phenomenal. He he broke Havertz's record for mm. fastest player to 50 Bundesliga caps. Yeah. I think, again, he's ridiculously talented. Mm. It's just, we're, we're already letting on that our golden boys are going to be a little bit later on in this. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll let you introduce the next one because you're going to be very excited yes. about this. Next one, Mr. Mason Greenwood, Manchester United player. Um, <laughs> for some reason, Gareth Southgate is not putting respect yeah. on his name like he deserves. <laughs> That's another story altogether. Um, but yeah, very talented young player, but there are a lot of very talented attacking players in that Manchester United team. And Okay, your dream United front three, does he start? Oh. At this moment in time, no. No. So no that, because Rashford, Ronaldo, Sancho. Ra yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's great that, um, well, before Ronaldo arrived, mm. it was great because you thought Greenwood's going to have more of a chance as a centre forward, oh, which is, yeah, yeah, is yeah. what he was, you know, before he joined the first team. He was knocking it out of the park. Very talented player, but it's just how much game time he's going to get. He was very good last season, hmm. but this season I think it's it's going to depend. And also, like I say, you know, we didn't see him at the Euros, which is a shame, not his fault, but... Yeah, can you really get the award then? In my opinion, no. And that's... And listen, I, I love Greenwood, um, and I think he's a really talented player, and I think in the future we will hmm. see him 100% you know, in the mix, starting every game for Man yeah. United. Unfortunately, Cristiano Ronaldo will not be there forever and he will definitely get his chances. But for now, I don't think we're going to see enough of him to really have him at the top of, of what this. What are you going to say? Pains me to do it, but I'm probably going to have to put him... I, I can't water by him, so he's going to have to go in wooden. I can't do him that dirty, but yeah, that's probably where I'd put um, him. I'm going to go bronze. Yeah. Purely because, and this isn't me saying it, this is just what generally happens. Mm. The Premier League is more notoriously difficult than other leagues. Mm. So the fact he's doing what he's doing in the Premier League, this is no disrespect to the, um, some of the other players. Um, mm. You've got Nuno Mendes, who's in the Portuguese League. No disrespect to them. I think mm. they're in the top five now, actually, mm. ahead of France. Yeah. Um, Gravenberch is obviously in the Eredivisie in, in, in the Netherlands. That's not putting those leagues down. No. But they're playing at the top, and Greenwood's doing it in the most difficult league. Uh, next one. Oh, brand new Real Madrid signing. Eduardo Camavinga. Very talented. Looks like a very serious midfield player. A I'm real, glad he got the move. Yeah, a real Real Madrid player mm. to me. He screams Real Madrid, yeah. young style. Um, and I hope that we see him at the club for you know quite a while, um, especially because that ageing midfield does need uh, some some young eventually reinforcements revamping. eventually. Yeah. yeah. So I, I really like him. I mean, again, if you compare him to other people in the list, we mm. didn't see him for the France national team, but that is a very talented team, yeah, so that's, that's nothing not against fault. him. Yeah, 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 again, not his fault, but maybe we've not seen as much of him. But a very talented player, and oh, this is a tough one. This is a difficult one. I'm not sure, you mentioned it's ageing though, does Camavinga start week in, week out for Real Madrid? Because mm. we mentioned here, guys, I think, we believe, the golden boy is over the calendar year. Yeah. So January to December. Mm. Even though they've got the nominees now, they can sort of tell who's going to be good enough. Mm. Does Camavinga start week in, week out for the rest of the year? There's a lot of 
pressure on Real Madrid, you know, because Barcelona arguably aren't at their best. They're going mm. to want to be at the top of La Liga. They're going to want to be competing yeah. in the Champions League. Not that I'm saying Camavinga would be a, a risk to play week in, week out, but are they going to want to go with more of a certain midfield if, that they if, can if rely Modric, on? If Modric, Casemiro and Kroos are fit, yeah. that's you're gonna, the midfield you're gonna stick to what you know. Yeah. That's why I think he might not play that much. Mm. But when he has got his chance, but okay, I think despite this, I really think Camavinga is a phenomenal player. I'm actually going to put him in Silver Boy. Okay. I think I think he's that good. Mm. Just not quite going to make it. It was pretty good moving to Real Madrid because if he had stuck with Ren, no disrespect to Ren, um, mm. in the Conference League, I'm not sure he would have got as much of a look in. Yeah. Oh, see, I was thinking bronze, but you've made a very good argument for Silver. I may have to switch because, yeah. like you say, that move to a Real yeah. Madrid player. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'll him. go. I think I'll go with Silver. Yeah, you've convinced me. <laughs> okay, next up we have got Mr. Jude Bellingham, Dortmund player, made the move from mm. Birmingham, and now look at him, absolutely Stunning. flying, amazing. This is the thing to win, to win the DFB um, Pokal, like the German trophy, mm -hmm. to. Do very well in the England setup and in his small chances. Yeah. And now the start of this season, I think it's oh, five goal amazing, yeah. um, contributions mm -hmm. at the start. Um, youngest back-to-back -back Champions League goal scorer, English player in the Champions League. It's just the move of dreams as well because I think yeah. there was so much concern over it. Was it's a big leap that yeah, he's yeah, made. Yeah, absolutely. And you factor in the fact that he's so young. And to not and to see him not only like have a good move, but mm. have a fantastic move yeah. and to be doing so well so quickly, that takes a lot. And so many young players make the move and then it kind of stalls for a yeah. bit. And, and he's, now, he's flying. I would arguably say, Dortmund fans let us know, that he's the second name on the team sheet behind Haaland. Mm. Yeah. Arguably. I dig and there's no wonder the likes of Chelsea, Manchester City and Liverpool have been linked with him. Yeah. For me, Jude Bellingham is an unbelievably good midfielder for someone mm -hmm. so young. He has done it this year, the age of 17 to 18. I think he turned 18 during the Euros. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. For me, he's the golden boy. Yeah. That is mm. on the money. <laughs> that is my nomination. I, I think out of all the players on this list, Oh, okay, actually, I was about to say he'll have oh. the best career. No, I've just looked at the names again. <laughs> Back and I'm it up for a minute. Backtracking. <laughs> he will be one of the top three players mm. on this list for, for the rest of his career. I think he is that good. And that's not even an English bias. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, um, he doesn't, I don't really care which English team he goes to. I'm assuming eventually he will make mm. a move back like someone like Sancho did. He, the Bellingham's just incredible. Yeah. I just For me, he's golden boy. For me... There may be one or two other names that I feel mm. are slightly above him, so I'm going to go Silver Boy, but that doesn't take anything away from the fact that he is a phenomenal talent and gives me really good vibes for the future for England mm. as well, definitely. Talking of vibes for the future for England, right, the second to last one. I honestly think he was England's golden boy at the Euros, mm. Bukayo Saka. Stupidly good talent, like, like so good, and he's 18 years old. Mm. Do you reckon if you win the Golden Boy, you're allowed in it again next year if you're under 21? I don't know, Maybe. actually. That'd be weird if you mm. won it like at 17 and just won yeah. it for like four years <laughs> in a row because you were that good. I think Saka's insane, but like Florian Wirtz at Leverkusen, yes. Arsenal not being in European competition harms him. It because does. you can always have that quote of, did he do it at the top level? Mm -hmm. Like. In, in no fault of his own, because yeah. Saka's never played a Champions League match. Yeah, and it, and it's not his fault yeah, that yeah, he yeah. can't have the same opportunities as exactly. you know the Bellinghams and all these mm. other players that we've talked about. It's not his fault, but unfortunately, that is going to hinder where he where he comes. Unfortunately, I, I just think like if he puts in like he puts in good performances at the Euros, mm. put in some good performances in the Premier League is fine, but like one good performance in the Champions League against a good team is worth probably like, you know, a, a little good run of form, mm. you know, four or five matches in the Premier League. Yeah. Like, like we mentioned with Bellingham, I, I don't know, or the, the last player on this list, like you dominate a couple of big Champions League games. Mm. Like Pep Guardiola said about Bellingham, he was like, it's incredible how young he is and how good he is mm. when Dortmund played City last season. Yeah. That's worth so much more kind of reputation wise and, and proof of talent wise 
And I just think that holds Saka back, no fault mm-hmm. of his own. Yeah. Um, it's a tough yeah. one. You imagine like players like Jack Grealish, that was his first Champions League game. I know, insane. He cost 100 million before he played in the exactly. Champions League. <laughs> So imagine Saka a few years down the line still hasn't played the Champions League match and still hasn't Sorry, technically <laughs> yeah, proven himself against the best in Europe. Mm. It's not his fault. I just think without that, it's very difficult to categorise him as the best in Europe when technically he hasn't played in Europe. Mm. It's a tough one, I'm sorry. I'm going to go because he's <coughs> sorry, very talented, but I don't think he's got a chance of winning this mm. um, wooden boy. No, bronze boy, I feel harsh. Bronze boy, bronze boy. <laughs> um, I will probably go wooden, kind of similar reasons, mm. really, but de- still a big fan of his. Mm. And um, yeah, maybe Brilliant. maybe we'll see him in the Champions League for a different team one day. Who knows? Yeah, oh God. That was a, that was a Man United fan who said that, <laughs> not the Tottenham fan. The Tottenham fan Just didn't saying. say that. <laughs> okay, okay, last one. Last but by no means least, we have got Barcelona's Pedri. I mean, for me, I'm going straight in. This is golden boy for me, 100%. From my perspective, who else can it be? The kid has not stopped playing football for about a year. Like, literally (laughs) non-stop. He has got so much determination, tenacity. He's Mm. talented. Um, He clearly, you know, has so much love for Spain and Barcelona that it's like, Pedri, do you need a rest? No, 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 I'll keep going, no problem. Very talented. He's come such a long way in a short space of time. And I, I just think he's brilliant. I, I can't wait. Barcelona are so lucky to have him. Yeah, I think it's a great signing for five million. Mm. I can't believe he did the whole season at Barca. He played in something like, was it like 40 odd games? Crazy. I think he only missed a few. Yeah. Then went to the Euros, then went to the Olympics. Yeah. And, then and he's now back. he's come back and Koeman's like, this kid might need a rest, he's 18. Mm. Which is completely understandable. Do you think, here's a quick question, maybe he has a better chance of standing out because Barcelona are so poor at the moment. So he looks better. Mm, Would I he think... get as much of a look in mm. if he was fighting against prime Barcelona players to get into the team? Possibly, I think that's a good point. I think definitely Barcelona's situation mm. at the moment may make him shine a little bit brighter, but I just think he has got such raw talent mm. that it would have come through. Maybe he wouldn't have been playing as much, as much but I think yeah. he would have got the recognition for the chances that he did get. I think he would have smashed it out of the park. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it definitely plays a role um, because of that we're seeing a lot more of him. But yeah, if he would have had less game time, he still would have shone. Yeah, because that's the thing, like, he's going to look good because the rest of the Barcelona team don't look so good. Last season <laughs> against Juventus in the Champions League, away at Juventus, he was doing some mad things at 17 years old. Yeah. I was literally sat there like, what is going on? Yeah. This this kid, I would put him in golden boy if I hadn't already put Jude Bellingham as my golden yeah. boy. So Pedri for me goes top of the silver boys. Yeah. Both great potential yeah. winners in Bellingham and Pedri, I think so. But you guys, let us know your winner down below. Those are the 10 most expensive on the list. I also think they're the 10 favourites. Maybe there's one from outside the top 10. Let us know in the comment section down below, as always. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, for myself and Angelina, we'll see you guys soon.